Welcome back. We are joined by our political insiders, Democratic strategist Mark Single and Republican strategist Charlie Giroux. Gentlemen, thanks for being here today. I'm in for Rob. Mm -hmm. You're stuck with me. Listen, I want to talk about Ivanka Trump first and foremost, because obviously when Hillary Clinton <laughs> was using her email for uh, government information, this was a huge deal with President Trump. What will he do to his daughter? Well, we don't know, but it's a non-equivalency situation by far. You How don't so? have, well, first of all, she's not using a server as Hillary Clinton did. Second, she didn't scrub 30,000 emails uh, with acid wash. Uh, she didn't have her staff go and take the Fifth Amendment. But let's face it, she shouldn't have done this. I mean, just the optics are bad. And that's really what this boils down to, the optics. It's not in any way, shape, manner, or form the equivalency of the Secretary of State sending classified documents over a private server. She did not use a private server. Mark, that's do you ridiculous. agree with that? Oh, no, no, I don't, you agree, don't with agree with that. Okay. It's of course <laughs> equivalent. She is not only the president's daughter, but she's a senior advisor right in the West Wing. So her misuse of her emails is absolutely equivalent to what Hillary did. And the hypocrisy of this is astounding because remember, Donald Trump throughout his campaign used this like an ice pick mm -hmm. on Hillary Clinton, jabbed her every time he could about the emails. To this day, his supporters are saying, lock her up, lock her up. You don't hear Democrats saying, lock her up to Ivanka. But the equivalency is there, and they could very well do that in the same breath. Only Mark could come up with that. The Secretary of State is somehow equivalent to some staffer in the White House using a private server versus using a private email account. She should have known better. Acid that. washing. She should have known better. And how do you acid know she washing, did? Acid, well, we don't yet. Yeah. Exactly. If she did, if she did, then you can lock her up. All right. I, uh, I actually want to talk about Jamal <laughs> Khashoggi. I want to talk about Jamal Khashoggi a little bit. Um, so the final report of, of the death uh, of Jamal Khashoggi just came out. What do you guys think when President Trump says that he intends to remain a partner with Saudi Arabia. It's disturbing, disturbing. I'm not sure what Charlie's going to say, but I'll f I found the president's comments today to be morally reprehensible. The CIA has now, it's been reported, uh, conclusively saying that the crown prince was responsible for the murder. Right. America does not condone murder. We should not be dealing with thugs who murder people who are their political enemies. That's what he said he's going to do. Charlie, what kind of message does this send to other well, countries? What message did it send when Barack Obama did nothing? Oh, when stop. No, but seriously, oh, Mark, you, you have this... You know, that's, that's you have, you, you to have do this, this dog whistle mentality when it comes to Donald Trump, but you don't ever want to talk about what his predecessors did in exactly the same situations or even bigger situations where they're gassing their own people and he did absolutely nothing. I think it's a very difficult situation. It's not given to the quick rhetoric that Mark likes to throw out from time to time. I think it's going to require a long, it's going to require a long and serious discussion about how we deal with the Saudis, Guy which is a problem, a which is which is which is a problem okay. going back a long, long time. This man was butchered. This man walked into this consulate and American, was butchered. Not an and American he was butchered citizen. by the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince. And instead of calling him out for that and saying we as Americans do not condone that. He said, I don't really well, even care. Well, where's the rest of the world in this, Mark? He was not an American citizen, was not even a green card holder. We're talking holder. America. No, what he's not America? an American. Why is it our responsibility America? to unilaterally prosecute all of these matters when because, the rest of the world stands on the sideline and Because we it? maintain a moral high ground that says murder is wrong. And we Barack don't Obama him. did exactly nothing when well, millions were murdered. Mark, well, come okay. on. Okay, so Barack Obama's a murderer, I guess. No, but, but Trump he, is the one that's condoning it. He's on the world stage now. But you were out there with this great hue and himself. cry when Barack Obama did absolutely you, you nothing. Stop. Stop. We're out of time. I really appreciate it. Healthy <laughs> argument. I think it was healthy. Uh, you can hear more from our political insider Sunday mornings at 8.30 on CBS 21's Face the State with Rob Hanrahan. Thank you, gentlemen.